Bust out the bubbly. We have got big news to share. The contract has been signed. The first payment has been mm -hmm. sent. And we are, I'll wait for it, buying our dreamboat. Ooh, and we say dreamboat because technically it doesn't exist yet. It is being built right and now. And drum roll. Hold on. Oh. We are getting the HH44. <laughs> Catamarans before. They are a small boutique builder, but they arguably build some of the sexiest performance catamarans in the world. You show me a sexier boat. You, you can't <laughs> <Okay>. do it. <laughs> First time we ever laid eyes on one was back in 2016. We were working on Curiosity at Just Catamarans, and there it was. It was on the heart. It just got delivered, and it was like the Starship oh, Enterprise. Man. Like it looked like it had just time warped from the future. And it was definitely made out of unobtainium. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly, because it has literally just always been the fantasy boat. Like our hypothetical answer to the question, if money were no object and you could have any boat in the world, what would it be? It's yeah. exactly what it was. It was always just, an HH. Yeah, well, yeah. and a fantasy. Yeah. Like it was not even on our radar as anything attainable. Because they also only built high performance beautiful super expensive multi-million dollar yachts and until big. now yes now they just launched the 44 it's, it's their first production boat and it is a game changer yeah so i came across the hh44 announcement almost a year ago it was late at night laying in bed couldn't sleep and just kind of peeping <laughs> on the internet and i came across the announcement and read this the carbon composite parallel hybrid hh44 is a game-changing eco-friendly cruising yacht poised to win the hearts and minds of early tech adopters world cruisers and serious sailors alike hello that is exactly what we were looking for i'm so stoked i woke jason up <laughs> and I woke, take a look like oh that's amazing i'm going back to bed yeah <laughs> no seriously i was emailing the next morning and before we knew it we were on the phone with paul hakes who is the boat builder and it's been a budding relationship leading to this very day <sighs> ever since and full disclosure hh did give us a small discount on building this catamaran but we are paying with our own money yes we are buying this boat and that is exactly why we are selling curiosity now because we need the money <laughs> we need to put this money towards the new boat can't afford to have two different yachts no. at the same time no so about the boat So we selected the OC version and it's hard not to drool and lust over the SC version with its carbon mass and its massive dagger boards and like super sporty <laughs> ride. Because there are two versions of the boat, the ocean cruising and the, the sport sports cruising. cruising yeah. But essentially the boats are identical as far as hull and interior goes. Yeah. So the ocean cruising package is definitely much for our speed. Our speed with its many keels. And they absolutely knocked it out of the park with just every aspect yeah. of this boat. It, it was just a complete rethink on how catamarans are designed, especially when it comes to being self-reliant and really efficient tech. Today, we want to take you on a quick tour and share some of the features that led us to buying this boat. And we're going to start with innovation. Definitely the biggest is EcoDrive. And that is the parallel hybrid system that they have designed for this boat. And I think it is the perfect solution for right now. Initially, when we started playing around with the idea of buying a new catamaran, we thought we wanted to go all electric, but mm -hmm. the more manufacturers we spoke to, they said, no, you need at least one generator. And that's just for the ones that would yeah. even talk about going all electric, because there were lots of them that wouldn't even touch it. That's a whole different story. And then we would tell them, well, we want to do long ocean passages and we want to go to remote islands. And they say, well, you probably need the redundancy of two generators. And we thought, what's the point of all electric if we have to be running two generators? generators. That's kind of whenever we found out about the Eco Drive. That's what got us excited because it's a standard diesel engine with an electric motor mounted onto the shaft. Essentially, we have independently working diesel engine and an independently working electric motor. So we can run off the diesel or we can run just off of electric. And that's our plan to never touch the diesel 
part of the engine and only use the electric part of the engine. But there's so many other benefits besides just having now electric propulsion. We also have region. Which means as we're sailing, our prop will be spinning to generate power and to charge the batteries. And the engines have high output alternators, which we already have on our boats. We are already well versed in knowing how amazing those are. So that is the generator. We can pump in loads of power right back into the batteries that way if we need to in a short amount of time. And also the HH44 has a shaft drive and not a sail drive, which we feel is a huge benefit. We have a shaft drive now. Very little service, very little can go wrong. It's very nice. Exactly, so that's why we want to stick with that. Because the EcoDrive uses a 48 volt electric motor, they did not scamp. It is massive, 43.2 kilowatt hour lithium battery bank. Now, of course, that doesn't necessarily mean a whole lot to me because <laughs> I think in terms of 12 volt, because that's what I'm used to, which is the equivalent of 3,360 amp hours at 12 volts. That is like three times more battery than what we have right now. And what we have on Curiosity is a pretty respectable lithium battery battery bank at 1200 amp hours, but right. three times, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> <laughs> Which means living purposes, we definitely will be fine yeah. for oh, all needs there. But aside from that, that means that we legitimately have enough power to actually run those engines for a, a, a reasonable stint instead of, you get half an hour and then you gotta recharge. No, no, no. no. This boat has more solar than any other boat of its size and probably more solar than any boat I've ever seen. Which again goes to the fact that they designed this boat from the ground up thinking of all of these things from the get go. So they made the rooftop completely flat. So there's no raised helms. So you've got loads of room for all of that solar. Plus no it's shading. just, yeah, no shading and less drag on the boat. So it's just more efficient all the way around, plus it just looks, it looks so clean, so good. Yes. And on the cabin top, they've been able to fit 4,230 watts of solar. That's still not enough for you. <laughs> you can add solar to the Davits, which will give you an extra 1,245 watts for a total of 5,475 watts. Yeah. Because... Why not? <laughs> I mean, that is an obnoxious oh. amount yeah. of salt. I'm not complaining. I, I want every bit of it. Well, well, we haven't decided if we're going to do the one no, on the, the Davits or not. The I think rooftop the, solar is, yeah. I, I do think, enough. And so, yeah. but I'm stoked about that oh, 4,000 plus sure. watts. Yeah. God, and they're using the SunPower Maxion 3 cells. So they're super high quality cells. Mm -hmm. And they've actually worked with a solar manufacturer to design custom shapes so they can use every inch of that hard top. It just blows me away. And and then of course, since we're talking about the hard top, I'm gonna to go ahead and throw in the fact that they are doing rain capture because ah. that is a big one for me as well. It's, it's free water and you don't have to mm. use energy to turn seawater into drinking water, although we wanna be able to do that too. So there will be that option as well. Might as well use nature's gift like That's you said right. last time, right? HH is known for their build quality and this boat is no exception. They mostly build all carbon boats, but this one will have carbon and e-glass and they'll use epoxy resin instead of the polyester or vinyl ester resin. So this boat is built to last and it will most definitely outlive us. And this boat will be a dream to sail because she is just so tidy and well thought out. All of the lines are run underneath the deck to the helm. We've got flush hatches and even the cleats are pop up. And because we're getting the OC version, we are getting mini keels and we are adding the winglets, which are designed by Melvin Morelli. And those bridge the gap between the performance dagger boards and standard mini keels because it allows us to point further upwind and have less leeway while sailing. As far as the actual sailing performance goes, she will be nimble, she will be fast. On those days where there is just a light breeze of only six knots, we will still be able to sail along at six knots of speed. Dream day! Oh, it's gonna be good. <laughs> yeah. And then if we wanna be able to like kick it up a notch and go have some fun on a moderately breezy day, we can sail along at 15 to 19 knots on those days too. Yeah, she is a performance cruising catamaran. 
Moving back into the cockpit, the most striking feature here is the folding transoms. I absolutely love the transom. Now, this has a huge safety benefit and feeling like we're locked in when we're out to sea. We're protected from the elements. But when we get to the anchorage, we drop the hook, you flop them down, and we've essentially extended our boat from a 44 foot to a 48 foot boat. But in the occasion that we need to visit a marina, we flop them back up and we definitely only have a 44 foot boat. <laughs> And the cockpit has good visibility all around. With the dual swing helms, we can swing them out to get a great view of the sails, or we can swing them in to get out of the elements with that massive hard top. And of course, each helm station has all of the controls, navigation, the lines leading to it, and digital throttles, which I'm very excited about. Moving in, the safari windows are a huge win for me. So they swing open from the front, completely opening up the front area and to the back into the cockpit. So the airflow is going to be incredible. Insane. The views are going to be yeah incredible love the safari windows and speaking of windows they are toughened glass they are not plastic <laughs> if they're not curved there will be no curved windows so we should never have to replace any of the glass and we don't have to worry about getting them specially manufactured glass will last the lifetime hopefully so it's a that's a, it's a big one yeah. <laughs> plus i have the u-shaped galley as you all know i'm a big fan of the u-shaped galley all electric so there is no propane and of course there's a big nav station or desk area that we can use with storage bins and drawers huge area to put a monitor it's for people that sit at a table for many many hours of many many days it's very nice to think that we're gonna have a proper office yes and of course, forward facing nav. Yeah. Whenever the weather's just totally crap and you're in the middle of a passage, you can sit right there, work, <laughs> and keep eye. Perfect. 360 degree views for sure out yes. from the inside. It's gonna be good. Moving down into the hall, we also are subbing out the third cabin for a workshop. Pow! This one is a big deal. Massive storage so I can fit all of my cameras, all of my tools. Spares. And still have space for extra provisions and food. Plus there's a fridge freezer down there. It's, yeah. it's going to be my space. It'll be like my man cave. Maybe I'll keep the chips down there and I'll secretly <laughs> eat them while she's not watching. Chips and candy bars. <laughs> um, you want cookies? <laughs> nope. Cookie! 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 We love cookie! And of course, we have beautifully appointed cabins with massive windows and blackout shades for all of those very big windows. And that's not all of the options or specs, but those are the biggest ones that drew us into buying this boat. If you want to know anything specific about a feature, leave a comment in the comment box below and maybe we can do a deeper dive on that. For sure, and the boat goes into the mold this week, which means the build is officially starting, which is very exciting. Uh, but she will take some time. So in the meantime... Our plan is to hand over Curiosity to her new owners, take a quick trip to the South Island here in New Zealand, and then pack it all up, <laughs> fly over to the US. Yeah, we have not been home to see family in two and a half years. <laughs> So they might not remember what we look like at this point. Uh, so we're going to do that and then hopefully make it over to the HH factory for the last of the build where we can then take delivery and set sail yeah. on this new journey. It's going to be a it's good. big we're, journey it's, ahead. It's a lot. It is a lot. We are so excited and so excited that you've been here with us through all of this. Mm -hmm. It's kind of wild and we hope that you'll continue to Stick around for what's next. If you have not hit the subscribe button. Definitely. Definitely do that so you don't miss anything. Ring the bell. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us, being a part of our adventure. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.